Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, today we'll be looking at a, you know, simple topic, but a pretty useful topic, if you ask me. Um, it's how to create a IPTV file, or basically a streaming file for your Kodi XBMC. Right now, you're at one of my favorite sites. I know they're getting free publicity. This is live TV streaming list um no it's tv online streams something like that it's in the url up here but that's not my site anyway but what you can do is you can go to any site on the internet and you can get a ip tv link or a stream file basically but the thing is most of the times when you go to these websites you don't really get a file you get a list of locations and urls and all them good stuff but if you don't know much and you're a beginner you're gonna say okay how does this work over to Kodi? i can't just click play and it works all right so for this demonstration i'm going to be showing you how to write the file that is needed don't worry if you don't have iptv stalker which doesn't work sometimes or iptv player or any of those stuff your Kodi is able to play iptv files easily and well once you know how to write them it took me a while to figure out how to do it but once you know it's pretty simple so let's get into it before you try to attempt this you're going to need um a file a file editor or a code editor or whatever you want to call it notepad plus plus you can google that and get it notepad plus plus um, you, you probably want to be running um, Kodi on your computer or anything. Anything does works actually, but you definitely want a text editor like Notepad++. So basically, just follow the instructions. Uh, once you identify the site that you want to get your IPTV um, um, streaming URLs from or whatever, and they're written in the way that you need it all you need to do is just copy the files well i'm not so good at copying but anyway you copy what you want and you just you know you just press copy i use my shortcut keys but you can do that then you open notepad plus plus i don't think i need to show you how to install notepad plus plus there should be many videos available to teach you how to do that i'm just going to show you how you write the files all right so you paste it in a blank situation um, um blank page in notepad plus plus what you have at the top here is you see extinf you don't have to worry that's just the format that is written in then you see your channel name you can even put a space if you want and then there's a, a corresponding link right here where you see this little finger comes up yeah that's the link to that particular channel you can even press enter and what you'll notice there's a pattern you have that same thing right here this doesn't matter the extinf uh, minus one doesn't really matter but you have to put it is the format that is needed and then your channel after that so you can just always copy this put a number sign or a pound sign extinf don't ask me what it stands for i won't know but anyway you put that and just the same format that you have right here and then you put your channel name comes after that and after your channel name you 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 press enter you don't write the link right after it, you write the link um, after, below it. Not right after, but below it. You put the link below it. After you're finished doing that, um, I have pretty a pretty short list here. I just have two Nickelodeons, right? They both have, I think, Nick, Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. here. But basically, you probably have some IP TV list that goes on for oh man for for miles they just they're just long you have a lot some of them that they're they're just very long but for this demonstration i'm only using two of them so you can't be confused it's only two let's recap you have your little code thing here and then you have your channel name after that comes immediately the link to your channel 
you just copy the link in here this could be named anything this could even be named the great cow it could be named anything but that's your channel name and you have the format number sign and this and then the channel name all right after you've done all of that you can just i'll probably make a um i probably make this uh, this, this file um available for download i'm not sure i might do it but yeah but this is pretty much how you write it you just utilize this exact format then you can click save but this is where the magic comes in you save as you can name your file anything you want to name it i'm going to name it um try it out dot and this is the extension you're going to use m3 u yes if you, you you there are other formats you can name it you can give it that extension but you, the best thing i found out is m3u when you do that it is recognized as a stream file and that's part of your work already done right there and you save it at whatever location you want and let's get into Kodi. we're gonna let our Kodi um find whatever wherever we just put that thing all right, so we have our code already up. I already had it prepared. All right, so we're going to get from start to show you where you find it. So you go to videos, for instance, you click on files, then you see add video. You click on add video and you're going to browse for the location of your M3, um, M3U file. All right, so I have a lot of stuff on my thing because I'm using Windows um mine is on the desktop it won't be the same for you depending on where exactly you placed your file and it's best to place your file inside inside a folder because if you don't pre um, put it in a folder it becomes harder to find because it won't necessarily so we're going to create a folder here and put it in that folder I think I'll probably be making a part two to this to make it easier. All right, I'm naming my folder um, LOP. Yeah, making it simple. And then opening some um, our browser, our browser in Kodi, our file browser that is. And we're looking at desktop for me. And we're gonna look, oh, there is our, file, our folder, LOP. So when you've saved, don't worry if it looks empty it's there it's just not going to pick it up right there it's just going to look and look for the folder so don't worry about it click ok and then you click yeah give it a name whatever name you want it i'm going to still call mine lop and then click ok then ok again all right then we go back out when you go back to files now you're going to see it under the name you gave it which is lop then see this is our thing try it out m3 u click on it you see on my nickelodeon and my nick jr click on it and that's pretty much it it should run so yep that's my nick jr in, in russian it's actually in russian let's see how if your 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 um stream file is in another language and it has multiple languages just follow my instructions how to change your stream sound thing <laughs> and that's it guys i don't think this is a long enough um video i'll probably be doing another one to show you some more if you like this please give all right whoa this is loud if you like it please give it a thumbs up tell me how much you like it tell me what you want to see i can teach you how to code these things and if you want i could actually put up some ip um streams for you if you need them so um thanks for watching guys that's been it yep please like subscribe and we're on i think we're on instagram as well and we definitely have um a facebook page so just stop say hi or whatever thanks for watching